Right, it's something like the 4th of October. I did a very, very small video a minute ago, but two people came along. Plus I've had to do a bit of balancing in these bog areas. Um, it's a bit swampy. But I've decided to go and find St Cuthbert Swallet. Um, I won't be coming back this way. Um, the weather's on the change. So this seems to be, although we will get other good days, it's just that it is gradually getting colder and it will be getting wetter and windier. Um, the barrows, I'm at pretty. Up there above the hedge on the field, there will be the nine pretty barrows, which I did the other week. What I'm doing today is um, I'm walking around the edge. I've got a map in my pocket. I'll be going down some, something like East Water Road or something, or Lane, and then coming out on a B Road. See, someone lives out here, look. And up there, up there, just beyond the top of that hill, that's where the barrows are. The ancient monuments. Of course, I didn't bring me glasses. So I can never read small writing. Um, yeah, I won't be able to read it, but we're basically, we're I'm going to be coming down there. Um, I'm following a track from, I'm just coming along where that green line is, I'm coming down through there. Um, something called East Water some Lane or something like that. I would I actually, we'll be on this track and then I'll go on to like a proper little track. A tarmac track eventually. <sighs> With intention of eventually finding that red spot there. and St Cuthbert's Swallet. Now I found that location using Google Earth and the grid reference which is 5430-5050 or 5055 and I've looked it up on the grid reference A horse has just come down this way. It is very boggy. I never knew it would be this boggy. Soon going to be time for um, one and some boots. I've got to make me a walking boots. One of them leaks. They cost me £70 and they leak. They ain't very old. Even though I've been putting the polish on. Ah, they don't make boots like they used to. They never used to leak in the past boots. So this is Sheila out in the Somerset countryside on the 3rd of October 2015. Pretty. Walking up a nice old country lane. An ancient walkway, no doubt at all. A driveway. Seen two old people out a minute ago. They were surprised how wet it was. And we've had such dry weather and heat and very hot weather we've had for the last week. But downpours are due from tonight. The thing is, I buy myself cheap wellies lately. But it don't pay because they, they punch you very easily. I've noticed that. So you just, well, spend 50 quid and buy a really good pair, it. But so I can't afford 50 quid like that before Christmas, so it will be another cheap pair. Uh, I just hope that lasts at least for a little longer. So my thing is, I'm keeping the one that ain't got a puncher. So like I said, this is all unknown. I've never walked up here in my life as far as I know. 
all those years living down in Barrow and I never really explored my Somerset. Too busy working, too busy any drinking in the pub. Didn't do enough of this. Should have done this 20, 30 years ago. I mean, I used to run and swim, you see. Then it all came to an end and I played hockey. And uh, God, look at that view. And this is a misty day, but look at that. A beautiful Somerset wall as well. That's very pretty, isn't it? And of course, some um, pretty will be down there, look. Pretty's down there somewhere. It's very, very hazy today, it's a shame. I think the last time I came here, it was hazy. Now this could be the bigger track. It's not tarmac, but it's bigger. There we go, I expect, I expect you can get in that field and get up to the um, burrows that way. But you can. There's a big football match on today. Manchester United, who beat Arsenal in the week by quite a few goals, are playing them again today. Oh, God, it's just so beautiful, isn't it? I'm going to turn off for a minute and take some pictures of this scene. It's just so gorgeous. Over now.